Self-expression, well, it's a great thing. Fashion, makeup, maybe even tattoos. But there are some people who take self-expression to the extreme. Like these people who were recently featured in National Geographic show, Taboo. A slight stinging sensation there, well, but that's you know, about it. As the saline is trapped in the forehead, it creates a small reservoir. Three to four hundred cc's of saline, and two hours later, they're full up. Once it's fully swollen, you take your thumb and press down to make the indentation in the middle. That's the part that becomes the climax, the finish of the bagel head process. Thumb is digging into my brain. <laughs> Sweet, buttery bagels. 16 to 24 hours later, when their bodies have absorbed the saline, the swelling will disappear completely. And, and you know what? Why? I know. That's the big why. Yeah. Luckily, Dr. Sears has volunteered mm -hmm. to give us a whirl. Yep, Come on sounds over. Good. So we're going to. Are you going to do it? <laughs> but I, I don't want a bagel. Can I do it like a waffle head? It's like a, just a bunch. I just wanted just to see what you all would say. And universally, yeah. Sorry. everyone's like, why would you do this? And we actually brought someone here who could help explain why this is a trend. This is Tokyo subculture journal journalist, La Carmina. And uh, we also have is John on the phone. That's me. He was just getting that saline injection. So why, why? are people doing this? <laughs> why? Why? It's a form of personal expression. It's almost a bonding session, a way to express yourself the way you might dye your hair or do nail art. Well, like tattoos and like piercings, right? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, taken to but, another But have you, have you seen any complications from it, though? It's not like it, it, it's without risks. That's I true. I mean, with a needle, there's always a risk of infection, putting that much that's fluid a into your forehead. That's a lot of fluid. That's you good. could have a hematoma. Yeah. In other words, you hit a blood vessel and you have a collection of blood. Uh, another thing, with all that pressure, 400, 500 cc's, is a large volume of fluid and, to and put. John, you, it you could break down this. the skin. Yeah. John, you did this. We're looking at a picture of your bagel forehead. What inspired you to try this? I have, uh, you know, been interested in body modifications for quite a while. And um, while I was living in Japan, I came across the saline inflation uh, bagel head phenomenon in the scene there. And uh, this Despite my curiosity, I was initially very hesitant about doing something so extreme to my face, but uh, I found out that the process is apparently completely temporary. Uh -huh. It's perfectly safe. And, Going back uh, to your question about the medical procedure, kids don't do this at home, but the group in Japan that performs this procedure, they're licensed piercers, they use medical grade saline, they're constantly prepping the person and watching to make sure everything goes properly. And I've witnessed this multiple times now. I'm the go-to person if you want a bagel head, but I've never seen any lasting effects in terms of stretched skin or infections. Everyone does it as safely as they would properly do a piercing or a subdermal. Yeah, but these are doctors. The key, but mean, doctors. You need to know the anatomy there where you're putting all this fluid, right? But, but wouldn't you, wouldn't you argue that... It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Roseanne, I bet if you yeah. did, you know, you, you could actually get a bagel head, <laughs> and that could be the new name of your party. Yeah. Roseanne, you get some I, I can do this it. for you in my Beverly Hills office. Maybe no. Oh, you know, you can inflate it. other parts of the body as yeah. well. Certain male and female parts can also be inflated. <laughs> what well, if that's you, even worse. What if you oh, I mean, really? In their, you're put, people yeah. put it in their penis? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Well, you know, it only lasts 10 to 24 hours, so if you want a temporary lift... You oh, can't I, I, I think that would be, yeah. that to no, me that. sounds like a really bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> I think the key here, though, is anytime you do a procedure breaking the skin, whether it's a tattoo or something like this, isn't the number one key doing it the right way under sterile conditions? Because this is not something we could ever promote someone mm -hmm. to go do. But the key is if you're doing it, don't you do have it. to. Don't do it have to do it sterile. Have to yeah. do it. Someone needs to know exactly and what to do. And know the doing. anatomy. Know at what depth you're putting this fluid mm -hmm. in. And that amount of fluid scares me because you could put so much pressure on that skin that you actually lose. What the about skin. those people that get their lips all well, yeah, and, and stuff? Well, it's a similar kind of thing. You're stretching it out, but those are more permanent. This does go away. It's saline. The you body just absorbs it.